Hello, glorious, stinky creek that actually really isn't that glorious anymore. We haven't got a lot of rain in the Midwest, so the creeks and the cricks, and the whatever you want to call them, have been uh, pretty low. They've been low for a long time, which is not really good for the fish. They have less holes, less places to be, but uh, yeah, it can be pretty good for fishermen because they have less holes and less places to be. As I was walking, I saw a big pile of a couple things that I really want to catch, so we're going to try to catch them, maybe try to sight fish them, and uh, go from there. Stuff and things, the pal. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And um, yeah, it's not even actually afternoon. What do you call it if it's just noon? It's literally 12 on the dot. I suppose you just call it noon, and then once it's 12.01, it's afternoon? I'm not really sure. I'm probably thinking about it too much. But yeah, we've got a warm day in the middle of ice fishing season. Ice fishing season isn't over. Um, it's going to get cold a little bit coming up. There's like two cold days, and it goes back to warm. So yeah, most lakes aren't frozen. And uh, I'm OK with it. Ice fishing season started a little bit early this year, earliest I've ever actually ice fished close to home, uh, November 9th. And um, yeah, so I'm kind of almost ready for it to be done. I hate to say it, but ice fishing is kind of a lot of work. So yeah, we're just gonna do some creek hop and stuff. We're doing everything we can this year to catch the least amount of carp. We're never gonna use corn at creeks. If you haven't watched the last video, go watch it. I said a lot of these things too. We actually did pretty good. We did catch one carp, but we caught some other stuff. So yeah, if you're bored after this, head on back and check it out. But uh, yeah, I've never really tried this at this creek, but I'm gonna drift a weightless, maybe a tiny, tiny split shot night crawler down this shoreline see if i can't get bit never done it so i don't know if it's gonna work but we've got another jetty down the way another jetty down the way can drive to another spot down the way where a feeder creek comes in and yeah we've got a few hours to see if we can catch some stuff things but people are always like do you ever take breaths you know the short answer or the long answer the answer is no um, but yeah, I know some of this stuff is stuff that I've done before. Like I just said, I've never really done this exact thing before, but I'm kind of a repetitive creature that I do the same thing a lot. And for the haters, I pretty much uh, verbally and mentally abuse myself at all times, so nothing you say will ever bother me. And uh, nothing you say, I've never, or I haven't already told myself, so yeah. Good luck trying to get under my skin. Something hit it. <gasps> that wasn't a cart. That was something else on the weightless, weightless night crawler. Alrighty, let's try that again, except with a uh, lighter pole that won't just rip it out of their face. Face, face, face. Oh no, I'm over a bush. I'm not over a bush anymore. Oh yeah, we're just gonna kinda drift it downstream and see what takes it. There's a couple fish that looks like a fish I've never really caught in the mouth, but there's a reason why I haven't caught them in the mouth. It's because they're assholes. Let's see if they're not being assholes today. I don't know what that first fish that bit was, but it looked different. White bassy, bassy, gold eye, -y, something like that. I don't think it was a kerp. I don't think it was a curb. But who knows, maybe it'll only work that once and we'll have to work downstream. We'll keep trying it though. And stuff. I don't know if something had it like years ago. <laughs> That's the problem with drifting weightless stuff, man. God, he swallowed it too. I should drift him down live, but I don't know if there's really any predators big enough to eat him. See if we can get that hook out of them. But new species, green sunfish. I should have known that would happen since I'm drifting it down the side of some rocks. Yeah, I kind of wish I had something to put him in so we could uh, do some cut bait. Maybe down the way I have some caught some catfish in this creek. And yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. He's already bleeding, so. Put him in my pocket? I mean, I suppose that's what pockets are for. Not really, they're for things like phones and wallets, but. I've always kind of uh, put bluegills in my pockets. It's kind of my thing. It's the cat fisherman in me. Mm. Yeah, we'll keep him. We will keep him. We're planning on it, but maybe we'll try a uh, bigger hook and uh, some cut bait down at the next jetty. Got a five or six pound channel last time I fished down there, so yeah, worth a shot. No point in letting Bud go to waste. 
yeah, species number one of this video, species number five of the day. A lot smaller than the first fish that bit, though. Let's go drift it down a little further. Nope. That's better. That's better. I just rinsed off my hands because I got a new crawler, but that is not a green sunfish. And it's also fighting like a son of a bitch. I'm even like trying to horse the damn thing and he ain't coming in in this current. Not bad, not bad boys and girls. You hear that drag of screaming? It's my favorite sound. That's my favorite sound. Let's see if it's one of the weird ones I've never caught because they're assholes, but to be honest with you, I don't think it is. I think it's just your average run of the mill dirt bag common carp in six inches of water that I'm dragging through the mud and current. That would be my guess, because he's not even that big. The current's not even really ripping that much either, but he sure was pieced. Hopefully he didn't scare all his friends away, but we got a lot of uh, rocky bank here to work down. I always love the uh, split shot crawler, but when you're in shallow water and there's a lot of snags, and you can get upstream of some fish that you see. Instead of trying to really sight fish them, just figure out where they are and then go upstream and drift down into their mouth. We've pretty much got three bites instantly every time we've done it. They aren't necessarily the most desirable of bites, but yeah. And at the beginning, like I was saying, I'm not really gonna target carp this year. I'm kind of targeting the weird ones that are next to them. But uh, yeah, what I was getting at is I'm gonna throw a lot more swim baits in creeks. But throwing a swim bait downstream in maybe six inches of water would basically be a waste of time. So we might as well try to catch these fish on the way. And uh, I've never been a purist and never will be. I fish for everything. Fish for everything. Sometimes I'm catching carp in poop water. Sometimes I'm catching 50 pound blue through the ice. You never know what you're gonna get. But I do know that I'm not gonna get a 50 pound blue today. I can assure you of that. <laughs> Come on. That was sick. That was sick. That dude went ape shit. That dude went ape shit. Come here, Tiny Tim. This one's actually probably twice the size, but your run-of-the-mill dirt bag carp. I feel like I can kind of horse them. Got 10 pound braid and 12 pound fluoro so as long as you don't horse them too much I should just be able to get this rat bastard in here and get them unhooked but when you hook them in shallow water and they just explode it's fun stuff. That is fun stuff. Maybe I should try my hand at fly fishing again. I kind of say it every once in a while and never do it, but it kind of seems like a good spot to go fly fishing. And if I'm gonna fish similar spots, maybe I should try doing different things. Like this is kind of a different thing, floating weightless night crawlers, but fly fishing would really be a different thing. I'll have to see if I can find that Amazon piece of shit I bought a couple years ago. And by piece of shit, I mean I put the reel on backwards so I'm the piece of shit. <laughs> you guys remember that? I do. There she is, boys and girls. Trash fish, numeris carpus. Numero dos. Later, you little orange, orange tailed stub. Orange tailed stub. I need a new crawler. Oh, Jesus. That's poop water. That is poop water I just put my foot in. Where did my green sunfish go? Uh, I don't know where my green sunfish went, so I guess we're not doing cut bait. Hopefully he just rolled into the creek and lived. Or if not, something's probably going to eat him. Well, that kind of stinks. I was kind of looking forward to that, because I think I know where uh, the catfish kind of sit down the way. But Hey, you know what? Catfish will, in fact, eat night crawlers, so I suppose the crawly boys will work. The 
Crawly boys will work. Hypothetically, of course. Come on, weird one. Give me a weird one. I want a weird one. Okay, that's different. That's different. That's different. That's different. I was just staring at some weird buds right here. They don't even seem too worried about me at all. They're just sitting there. I'm not sure if you guys can see them, but I don't know if they're quillbacks or river carp suckers or what they are, but I believe this is our first open water drum bud of the year. Hell yeah. Kind of thought it was a white bass at first, but we caught one of those earlier, but we did not catch a drum bud. So this is species number six. Fishing downstream is also a, a good way to uh, prevent fish from swallowing the hook. Obviously, if a tiny ass green sunfish bites it and you don't feel it, that's a different thing. But this drum bud slammed it and I nailed him. Also put one split shot on because of the wind. The wind was making it hard to, to fish it weightless. Probably go back to weightless eventually, but a little gusty. Drum bud. Drum bud. They are pretty. They are pretty. Blue green head. Drum bud. So including the first video that I really hope that you guys watch right after this, or before this, or you already saw it, um yeah we caught bluegill largemouth bass what else carp white bass now we got a green sunfish and a drum bud so six species on the day thanks to old crawl a <laughs> see what i did there that was stupid you know one downside of open water fishing compared to uh ice fishing is there's no plants to get stuck on when you're ice fishing no plantains. I mean, underwater plantains, maybe. But fishing in the uh, bushes can kind of be annoying. Alrighty, boys and girls. I'm not sure how many carp buds I left in this video, but we've actually a absolutely, absolutely, been beating the tar out of them. I'm not sure if I left it in the video either, but we caught species number seven, a green sunfish hybrid. I know, legendary. What I am sure that I didn't leave in the video is the fact that I just saw like a damn 10 pound drum fish and a couple other predatory things swimming around. So we are uh, switching back to the swimming bait. And by switching back, I mean we haven't used it in this video, but yeah, we did in the last one and caught some stuff. And there's some tiny bass fish right in front of me that want nothing to do with it, but that's okay. We don't want nothing to do with them neither. But holy hell, there's a pile of carp right there. I can't tell you that for sure. I also probably shouldn't have stood up. Because they did not like that. Oh, that's a wiper! That's a wiper. That is a wiper. It's not a drum butt, it's a damn wiper. That is a wiper. Holy shit. That bluish bud that I saw was not a drum boy. It was a big ass wiper. Like a five, six, seven pounder. He kinda was interested in the swim bait, but not really. And I also have no idea where he went. Damn, that was cool to even see. I wish you guys could have seen that. That was a big dog wiper. Big dog. We gotta try to catch that dude. We gotta, I also shouldn't have stood up over here because uh, I spooked him. Hopefully he's dumb like the uh, carp fish because I've been spooking the carp fish all day and they've still been eating. Damn it, wiper. God, that would have been sick. That would have been sick. When I first saw him, he was kind of farther away, so it was hard to tell, but up close, definite wiper. No. Damn it. Switch to the big swimmer and snag a damn carp in the tail. <laughs> no. No. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I don't know 
what that was, but that ate it. I think. Can't be certain when there's this many carp around. There's the wipey. There's the wipey. God, he just ran from it. God, he ran from it again. Why does the wipey not like the swimmy? What's your deal, wipey, bud? I lost him. If I could catch a wiper out of here, I'd shit my britches, boys and girls. That one kind of looked like a little bit smaller one. It might be more than one. I'll keep an eye out for him. He's very obvious. Oh my god. That hit it too. What's wrong with this thing? I mean, it's getting bit, but... I really caught him. All right, everybody calm down. I'm getting worked up about this wipey. There's a mirror carp too, and a ghost carp. It's cool stuff down here. All the sewage water is mutating them. Not even kidding, there really was just a ghost carp and a mirror carp. And a wiper, all are three things that I would like to catch. Hopefully. But since we took the nightcrawler off, I've been doing a lot more talking than catching. Might have to switch back. I mean, a white will eat a crawler too. What are you? I got something good. I got something good. No, I don't. Yes, I do. White bass? No. I got one of the weird boys in the butthole with the the old swimming bait. At least we get a look at one of the weird boys since I talked him up at the beginning. But basically to summarize the last hour and a half, just because you can see a wiper doesn't mean you're going to catch a wiper. Hey, that's actually a quill back. Still in the butthole, so doesn't count. So if you're watching, John, it still doesn't count. They're cool, though. Big ass quill back. Comment down below if you know how to catch them in the mouth. They got basically cart mouths, but yeah, I don't know. They don't, uh, they don't like to eat things. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of shad around. There's a bunch of fish around. Everything is well fed and yeah, I don't know. No matter what I put in front of that wiper, he didn't want nothing to do with my greasy ass, which can't really blame him. But uh, yeah, we uh, came, we saw, we conquered. I'm going to uh, keep going, going down the creek, but uh, I'm going to do it tomorrow. There's another spot down the way that was pretty good. actually saw a muskie there last time I was there with Boo and going to bring some bigger stuff, some heavier stuff, some muskier stuff. See if he's still home. I doubt it, but we'll try anyway. But if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Appreciate you watching. Hopefully you're having a grand old day, grand old night, grand old evening, whatever time it is. Thanks again. Stuff to think. Bye.